This is not a partisan crisis. This is an economic crisis facing everyone in this country. Uh, and to look at the, the votes today, 94 Democrat, Democrats voted no. 94. Now, when we were in the majority, I think we would make a decision that we would be able to come to the floor and bring a solution to the American people and pass it. They made a decision to leave 94 of their votes off the table. And frankly, as you can see, a majority uh, of our votes uh, that wouldn't go along. Clearly, this is an instance where you see Speaker, Losey, Speaker Pelosi's failure to listen, failure to lead. This caps off a year that I think has been probably the most unproductive year in, in the U.S. Congress that I've seen in my lifetime. No, no production of any bailout bill, no energy bill, no appropriations process, very little to show the American people. If the U.S. Congress were to vote tomorrow morning on whether to, uh, to declare war on Iran, would you vote yay? This Congress is not going to do that because it is the Commander-in-Chief's role, Chris. And Steve knows that as well. It's not Congress that will ask, ask for that. It is the Commander-in-Chief that will make that decision. Every president, whether Republican or Democrat, since the War Powers Act was uh, in place, has interpreted it as being the Commander-in-Chief's role to do that. You, you voted for No Child Left Behind. You voted for Real ID. You voted for the Medicare bill, which was trillion dollars unfunded. You voted for the Patriot Act. In what way are you a limited government? In what way do you want to shrink government? Because your record is clearly not, doesn't speak to that. Members of Congress claim that CISPA is needed to protect the nation from cyber attacks. It sounds good until you actually read H.R. 3523. Then you find that the vague language would actually allow the feds the authority to override every existing online privacy law by monitoring and collecting information on anything that includes efforts to degrade, disrupt, or destroy an online system or network, or theft or misappropriation of private or government information, intellectual property, or personally identifiable information. A bill written in secret by Senator McCain and Senator Carl Levin that would give the U.S. military and not civilian law enforcement agencies the ability to arrest anyone and hold that person indefinitely, even if that person is an American arrested, arrested on American soil. They affirm in statute for the first time a power that the president has merely claimed, and that's the power to detain indefinitely American citizens without charge or trial. American citizens should never be detained uh, certainly indefinitely without charge or trial at the discretion of the president. This has got to stop. And we've got to start holding these guys accountable, whether they're a Republican or a Democrat, or if they're from the Balloon Animal Party. I don't care who they are. Stop looking at the letter next to the guy's name and start looking at the politician and what he does. Don't just believe the speeches they make on TV. Don't look at the nice newspaper articles. Look at what they vote for.